Okay, so here's our first function transformation. It's f of x plus a. Now, important to note here, uh, when I'm talking about plus a, that could be any letter, k, p, j, z. Uh, it's not the letter a in the same way that you've been using it in class already. So just keep that in mind. It's just, it's just a placeholder. All right, so function transformations, f of x plus a. Now, this is our original function. This, uh, this red line here, that's just plain old f of x. Now, I'm going to create a new function called g of x. And g of x is going to be f of x with another number added on to the end. Okay, so I'm taking the original function f of x, and then I'm creating a new function called g of x, and then I'm going to add something to the end of it. Let's see what happens. So this is my original function, f of x. I'm going to add the number 3 to it. The number 3.1 to it. So you can see that by adding something to it, it's moving up. This is called a vertical shift. You can also see that if I subtract something from it, so f of x minus 4, it all moves down. So that's called a vertical shift down. So generally, let's write this. If we add a letter to our function, if a is greater than 0, it will shift up. And if a is less than 0, it will shift down. Okay, a greater than 0, shifting up. a less than 0, shifting down. Now, it doesn't matter what our function is. If we're adding something to it, it moves up. If we're, if we're subtracting something from it, it moves down. So here's a, like a cubic, not a cubic that you've seen before, but a, a slightly different cubic. If I add something to it, the whole thing shifts up. If I subtract something from it, the whole thing shifts down. Here's a periodic. Again, if I add something, it all moves up. If I subtract something, it all moves down. It doesn't matter what the function is. If I add, it moves up. If I subtract, it all moves down. All right, so there's our func first function transformation. Adding something to a function will shift it up or shift it down.